Edwards and Lavelle Jackson are deep, and we are underway from Tallahassee. Here's Reynolds from the four-yard line. And no running room as he is spilled at the 16. Josh Harris, who is the only running back to rush for over 100 yards last year against Florida State, is in the backfield and a drop. But Here's Campanero on the inside run, a penalty flag down, and Campanero has no running room off that left side, taken down by... And Price off play action, and the southpaw going deep into single coverage, and there was some contact downfield on the pass. A touchdown already this year. Green. Wrapped up, but in Wake Forest territory, so Florida State... Now, one of the reasons I know you're concerned and others, the quarterback manual, how consistent can he be, is Wake Forest. The performance has to be there. Out of the empty set and shotgun, and a flanker screen is dropped by redshirt freshman. Been a first-round pick, might still be out for the year with a broken foot defensive end. Here's Manuel stepping away from pressure and taking off on third and long, but he has to step out of bounds. Well, true freshman, Casey Beatty, who's punted four times this year in two games, booting it away in Florida State with great coverage. Going to be a run play to Josh Harris, trying to get outside and does. Dragged down, close to a horse cut. They'll keep it on the ground, and a big hole for Josh Harris. They finally catch him at the 40-yard line in Florida. And Price to the air. Going to float it downfield. Broken up. Incomplete. Xavier Harris had coverage on the attendant. Back to the quarterback and then the athletic ability getting up in the air. Don't talk much about the jumping ability of Wake Forest. Here's second and ten. And Price again downfield. Broken up and then Campanero gets lit up. A legal hit at the 20 message. Price facing pressure and sack. The arm work. Good shape rushing the pass with Warner. They got a lot of young guys too that we'll see. A couple of true freshmen, including the top player in high school a year ago. Green, fair caught at the 10 yard line. Senior quarterback, and he's going to get taken down for a loss of two on the play. Noel with the stuff. Reads and progressions, Dave. I'm impressed with you drawing up that play. <laughs> Manuel almost throws an interception, a dangerous pass to Rashad Green, but now he's loose. Pushed out of bounds at the... Oh, he definitely has a game right now. We know he didn't hear that. <laughs> Chris Thompson straight ahead. No running room again. Wake doing a good job up front as we say hello to Reese Play. Otherwise, they've been stuffed as Manuel takes off trying to find a hole and does slam down at the 37 by Justin Big Bat James Wilder Jr. in the game and here he is and Wilder has speed as well as size takes on the corner dumped on carry of the year at 35 totes a season ago as a freshman Manuel in trouble hit from behind now throwing it deep downfield nobody home nope and that loss Second and ten, Manuel with a pitch. And down to the 43-yard line is the time Florida State's been in weight territory. Manuel steps up and incomplete through the hands of Lonnie Pryor. Preseason games, weeks one and two. So this is by far the best competition they've faced and so far not handling it well, except on punt coverage. That's twice now they've caught the punt. In and he'll throw on the slam. A nice catch made by Brandon Terry. Harris, and hard to run outside against Florida State. Third down and five from the 10 after a two-yard loss. And that's going nowhere. Pass to Campanaro and Nick football the last couple of years. He's pumping out of his own end zone. Rashad Green, signaled for the fair catch. Looked like you see. First down for FSU, and here's Chris Thompson on the cutback inside the 30. And Thompson lost the ball at the 15-yard line. Down here. They go no huddle, and Thompson this time loses yardage. Tripped up in the backfield. It's the same team. On second and 12, here's an option, and Manuel will keep inside the five. Manuel dives, touchdown. <laughs> Now.
Manuel showing his strength, little agility, and then stretching out for the touch. 7 0 FSU. That's all right. 200% humidity. Orville Reynolds at the one. And again, he can't even get to the 15. Let's go back and take a look at the field position as they're all not. Run play on first down. Josh Harris able to get about two or three. Airlock at two. He'll hand it off again on second down. And Harris is stuffed. Florida State got they're over three on third down. Price in trouble. Everybody covered. Flag down and the ball is overthrown and complete. Inside is five. Third time he's done that. Low snap. And Green fields it at the 40-yard line. Slips a couple of tackles. And Green in the middle of the field with a kicker to beat. Green being chased at the 15. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Knowles. A 60-yard punt return for a touchdown. This is a shot. Kevin Johnson, number nine, takes a shot. The first guy just takes a shot, and then the other guys need to rally. Problem was, they didn't have the wall set up, and when you give a guy with the speed of green, he beat them for 160 yards through the air last year. They know how dangerous it is. kicking it, and Jackson Reynolds are the return man. Here's Reynolds. And can't get back to the 20. That's a theme here, Reese, in Dallas. In the first quarter for Wake Forest, here's Price, and he delivers a strike to Terrence Davis, just short of the first down. Brought. They'll try to run it here on second and short, and able to pick a hole as Harris and fall forward for the first down. Although they got the necessary yard there to get the first down. Out of the backfield, Harris, boy, he thought he was going to get a hit. Took his hands. Here's Harris trying to find a running lane on the outside. And Christian Jones brings him down after a gain of. And Price, a middle screen that's incomplete to the fullback, Tommy. Touched it. Ran it into the end zone for a punt return for a touchdown. This is another returnable punt. Makes the first man miss, but not the second. He's dragged down at the third. It's out of him. I think that's what you're seeing from Florida State defensively. Here's Chris Thompson on first down. It's nailed, but able to leap past the 40 to the four. And they will get off the snap here on second down. Thompson picks up the first down of the 45. Well, another possession starting near midfield as Manuel will throw in trouble and sacked and he fumbled the ball. Wake Forest recovers at the 43 yard. Josh Harris, and that ain't working. Pushed out of bounds on the far side after a slot. He's been quiet so far. Here's Price, and out of the backfield, Harris on the catch, and able to break a tackle and get positive yardage. Ridden out of play, and then pushed by Christian Jones late. Wake, yet to convert on third down, and they won't hear Price sacked at the 45-yard line. Brandon Jenkins. A lot of people think he's one of the best pass rushers in the nation as this is a good punt and fair caught around the five yard line. Manuel takes the high snap on first down. He's across the 15, stays in bounds, and then pushed out at the 20. The foot, no pressure, and then another four months they'll have to go in and take those screws out. There's a big run from Chris Thompson. Past the 50 yard line, he can outrun the defender. Breaks a tackle at the 20. Thompson's in. Touchdown. Reached. There's nobody left, and it's a house call for Chris Thompson. All you need is that crease, one cut, and then the speed. And uh, Wake Forest, because of their lack of size, has to take those chances in getting. Another short kick. Reynolds had trouble with it. Ran into his own man, and again, will fail to make the 20. Now let's go back and look at the forest on its 18-yard line. Play action. Uh, roll out for Price. Everybody covered, though, and Price throws it away. Let's check in with Jen down on the field. This program has to feel really good about uh, Chris Thompson's health. Here's a run play on second down for DeAndre Martin. 
And close to 10 yards. Maybe they'll just try to draw him offside. Nope, they're going to run a play. It's going to be a pass play on fourth down inches. Price trying to head for the marker. Going to be close as he goes out of bounds. Amazing how fast Anthony McLeod, defensive tackle is. Here's DeAndre Martin, and he's got a running lane. Takes on a defender, Christian Jones, and then pushed back. Here's second and four. And Price in trouble again, sacked again. Werner and Carradine both. Most interesting parts of that whole equation. Here comes a reverse pass, and Martin in trouble. Down he goes at the 20. I don't think I've ever seen that. No. I don't think anybody can block <laughs> either Werner or Carradine. Good punt. Here's Rashad Green, and down he goes. Florida State. Here's Chris Thompson, who's already rushed for over 100 yards here in the first half. And he's loose again. Thompson into Wake territory. Has a blocker helping him. And Thompson will score. There is a penalty flag down, though, around the 20-yard line. FSU was a legit national title contender. I don't know if we'll have an answer to that after today. We know this, though. They got some athletes. My goodness. Almost 200 yards. The trainer can't get the trainer to move back. The deep kickoff. And it won't go to the end zone, so they won't have the benefit of it coming out to the 25. How about that? They kick off from the 20, and Wake Forest again fails to reach the 15 as Reynolds for a kickoff into the end zone so they can get a touchback. Here's Martin going nowhere. Upended at the line of scrimmage by Anthony McLeod. And a gain of two for Martin as he's dragged down from behind by. Here's third and eight. And Price going to the outside incomplete. Off target intended for Terry. So there'll be some ups and downs with the, the talent level. Another returnable punt for Rashad Green. Already has a punt return for a score. He's inside the 35 and steps out. That was, I think he was the first to do it. As Manuel's going to throw it for just the fifth time. Going downfield for Pryor. Can't make the catch. Chris Thompson. And a rare negative play. Actually may have gotten back to the overs and, and penalties. So they do not look good. Third down and ten. Here's a screen pass to Thompson. He's got three blockers out there. Thompson inside the 20. Has the first down. As he's upended at the 13-yard line. An experienced group up front, but playing well today. Run play on first down to Wilder. Oh, what balance by Wilder. Put his hand down. Got those strong your quarterback. Right. Going into that big game next week against the Tigers. Here's Wilder into the pile, pushing forward. He'll give it to Pryor, the fullback, and he gets knocked down short of the goal line. Nope, it'll be Wilder, and he won't get in. Grabbed initially by Justin Jackson. That's fourth and goal. You're up from Dustin Hopkins. And so it is 31. Wake hoping he kicks it into the end zone so they can start on the 25 and they get their wish. This will be their best starting field position on a kickoff position last year. I know Tom Luganbill, our expert, thought so. Here's an end around to Raglan, and he's going to get dragged down by the other defensive end, Bjorn Warner. Here's second down and nine. Inside run to Harris, and gang tackled after a gain of one. Here's Reese. Was going to put it together at some point, not saying they're going to beat a team like Tech, but at least play better as that pass is off the mark. Intended for Campanero and catch for Campanero, but no yards. Josh Harris on the stretch. He gets pummeled. Vince Williams flying into the backfield. Drills. Looks pretty good in 3D, I'm sure. <laughs> Harris. Straight ahead for a couple on second down and 11. So the philosophy of Wake Forest, they redshirt most of their true freshmen. Price in trouble, dumps it off to Campanero, trying to get rid of a defender. He does, but comes up short of the first down by about a yard and a half. Campanero. Pretty good. <laughs> Fourth down and a deep pass that's overthrown. 
So that's twice now that he tried for a long pass. Emmanuel will throw and pressure coming and it's a screen to Thompson and Thompson makes one defender missed and gets hammered from behind by Tyler. Well, Hugh Freeze has done down there and he has some talent on offense. Manuel underneath and Hagens has the first down spins to the 30 an FBS AQ school Manuel going deep Hagens wide open with a pass overthrown that would have been six. Four for nine, 55 yards passing for Manuel. That one is deflected and almost picked off on the redirection. Rashad Green, the intended. Devontae Freeman will get the call on third down, and he's going to be close to a first down as he's taken down at the drill this season. Manuel again to throw in trouble, and he's out of there. And then going to throw in zone, man wide open, standing there, it's a touchdown for Rodney Smith. 37-0 Florida State. You see in the pocket how, how composed D.J. Manuel is. He doesn't panic, uses his size. You're not going to arm tackle him, kind of like Ben Roethlisberger, that kind of size. And then when you keep your head downfield, you can see receivers come open. And it's one thing to do this against Wake Forest. Love to see this happen against the, some of the other teams in the ACC that uh, that he's going to go up against later in the year. And then, what? but to me, it's about maturity, consistency, of performance. And electing to run it out is Jackson. Now reach the twenty. Nine seconds.